all right they just wanted to check the car out to see if it was something they could do it's a direct fit for a lot of uh 240 stuff like sylvia stuff or actually 240 since it's american 240 stuff is like compatible to this car i don't know if that's what, you know anyone out there with a y30 32 can can um you know collab corroborate my story as they say like i think that's what someone else told me like a lot of the the um 240 and stuff like that has a lot of the similar audio i'm not sure if it was like maximum stuff i don't think they had that option in there but it's a factory double den like direct bolt on and stuff but i did buy the kit just in case i needed it because i didn't want to go through any bull bs hassle and stuff i bought the um the wiring harness i bought just in case the uh six and a half need to be um like adjusted or altered in there i bought a, a, a mountain kit for that what else i got the antenna kit that goes to this car it's actually for i think a 240 so i don't know a lot of stuff or is it a 18 no nah, it's definitely too far i'm like i'm sending it going 18 i'm like nah that's a that's a small girl oh, well both were kind of sporty and i should see if they put an alarm on this thing that's the only thing about getting in the low car and stuff it, i look funny like crawling out it looks like i'm crawling out of that thing Otherwise, I'm going to lock it back up. I think I showed everything, right? Did I show everything in the trunk? Before I wrap this up, I only went out for a small cruise today. I didn't want to go out for a, a long cruise in this thing. So, I think, let's see. So, we're doing, I think those, uh, my HX2 is like, a, I think my RMS is, I think it's a thousand. I'm not, I haven't seen the back. Of, oh, I got I to gotta set down in the basement. I got to go check and make sure no water hit those bad boys. But I got to set in the basement, too. They're actually on, a, uh, on my, my bookshelf. So I think, yeah, like I said, the HX2s are about, and they're still pretty tight. Like I said, I haven't beat them. I haven't beat these subs up. Even when they were, uh, they were all together as a unit of four before. I was going to put them in a, in a Caprice if I would have kept it longer. But the next Caprice I get, that's when these all come out. And I don't, they can't get married because I do have a, a Phoenix Gold Reactor amp too. That, uh, it did get water. I don't know. Does anyone know of a place to fix his amps? It still powers up and everything, but I have one of those limited edition Phoenix Go reactor amps too. But that's what used to put, uh, push all four of those uh, HX2s properly too. Like that's one of the loudest systems I ever had. Uh, pretty much, I think it's probably top top one because it was four HX2s in there. What's another one? I had the six and the, the Caprice was decent. I had six uh, V whatever. I don't know what they. They were like kind of. They're up and coming. They're kind of little off bearing subs, but it was six of those in there. They were decent. Uh, like I said, I never really got a chance to show that the trunk off. I would have had it now. You know, I would show more as far as for, uh, YouTube goes, but I didn't get a chance to. But I'm looking forward to this. I don't have to worry about having that uh, the USB in the back like the uh, the the one the link the no the Lexus I call it the Lincoln. Uh, the Lexus had that sub. I mean that deck had it, so I have to like have the I have to buy the uh, what is it the USB cable to you know so i can put a you know a usb drive in there and then i have to also have it so i had the hookup um in the back half of it had a uh, aux cord on it this one has it so i just plug it in the front which is nice and it's also it has a you know you can you have to buy it doesn't come with it but you can buy a remote everything like that i don't know a lot of decks they're doing different nowadays man i remember when, like most of these decks came with remotes you know uh, or it would be a nice way if they had like a bluetooth like add-on so i can put it on my steering wheel so i didn't have to like go through all that remote control stuff too because sometimes that's a hassle too because you have to reach around and find a remote if you drop it so yeah man like uh that that's the girl that's the that's the ride for the day man i i didn't do a lot i gotta go on a ride where i have the gopro on my head and i'm like it's like a pov pov drive i gotta do a couple of those man just to like fill up content so it is what it is on this um yeah i don't know I really want those work emits, I think. I want, like, 19 work emits on that thing. I'm not even going to lie to you. I kind of do. I was looking at them just, like, trying to eye them up. Nine, I think 19 is the uh, the largest diameter they come in, so I'll do that. I wanted 20s on this, but 19, as long as I get the work like that. I don't know if they make a knockoff that's taller, you know, you know, as far as, like, wheel-wise. Like, if it's a 20 or 22. I think 20 is probably what I want to cap it off at if I put bags on it, but like, I don't know, man. The 18 is a fly, but something something just tells me I want something that's a little bit larger diameter. 
That's just Chicago with me on that one. Same thing with the uh, 430. I probably want a 20 or 22 on there. I was looking at a, a BD wheel, but oh no, black diamond. Yeah, that's what it is, black diamond. I was looking at a black diamond. Um, I forgot the 77 or 770 or some shit like that. I don't know. I was looking at that too to put on a um, 430, but right now I'm actually gonna buy a set of replacements, uh, factory factory wheels for that 430. So I still want to run um, stock for a while. Let me go ahead and close this up. If I can find a button. There it is. That dude walked up here and was like, is he talking to himself? Talking to a whole GoPro, my guy. It's all good though. That's how it is, man, like walking around. You know, sometimes for me, I don't, I don't want to bug people and like have them in the video and they don't want to be in there. So I try not to record places that I shouldn't be. I'm not one of those guys that go out in like the mall and decide to record people and stuff. That's that's sketchy. That's kind of, that's called like disrespectful. Get your, get your ass knocked out material. But all right, man, I holla at y'all, man. Hope y'all been sucking feet lately, man.